Hey, everybody. So you're interviewing for AWS jobs and looking for some practice questions. Maybe you've already been out here to search for interview questions, and there's actually a lot of good stuff out here. But in this video, I want to show you how to basically get unlimited questions and have a little bit of fun with some gamification as well, all with the magical help of ChatGPT. I'm going to be using GPT-4, which comes with the Plus account, the $20 a month account. But if you just have the free version and get access to 3.5, that'll work just fine as well. So the prompt you want to use for this is something like this. Create a text game with AWS interview questions that apply to entry-level AWS roles. But you can adjust this part to whatever role you're interviewing for, whether it's a developer, solutions architect, operations, or something like that. We're going to have it keep track of our score, starting with zero, asking multiple choice questions and waiting for the answer. We want the questions to be moderately difficult, but you can adjust this as well to make them easier or difficult and so on. And then when we get an answer correct, we're going to add five points to my score and ask new questions. So let's see what it gives us. I have no idea what it's going to ask, so we'll see how I do on the first few questions. All right, starting with something very simple. What is AWS? I'm going to go with B here. Submit my answer. And correct. Yay. So I've got a score of five points. And then moving on to the next question, which AWS service provides a NoSQL database? That's going to be DynamoDB. Answer C. Now, so far, you'll notice that the questions are just simple multiple choice, kind of like questions that you would get on a certification, for example, which is actually a good use case for this as well. If you're studying for a cert, you can do questions around that. In a job interview, though, you're typically going to get more scenario-based questions. So let's ask for something a little bit more along those lines. Make the questions more practical and scenario-based. And let's get a new question here. All right, for this one, we're designing a backup solution for a static website. Typically, static websites should make you think of S3. The data changes infrequently. And we want it to be cost effective. So all of those are keywords that should make you think of S3. I'm going to go with that. The simple storage service with lifecycle policies to S3 Glacier. And correct. Yay. Now, if you ever need an explanation for an answer, like maybe you thought you got it correct, but it's telling you otherwise, you can just ask for that explanation. So we could say something like, can you explain the correct answer for question four, which is the one above about S3? And you'll get a very thorough explanation here of why S3 was the best solution. And it also talks about some of the other options and why they don't quite fit what you're looking for. So have a little bit of fun with this. Adjust the prompt to the specific role you're interviewing for, the level of difficulty, and so on. And basically just go back and forth with the questions and answers, getting some good practice. Now, one important caveat before I let you go, if you know anything about ChatGPT and large language models, generally, they can and do make mistakes. In fact, it tells you right down here, ChatGPT can make mistakes. So don't rely on this 100%. You should be studying and practicing with other resources as well. I haven't seen it make any mistakes on these interview questions, but it can happen. So just be aware of that. Anyways, that's it. A short and sweet video today, but hopefully still helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. And also think about subscribing for more content like this. And good luck with your interview.